Welcome everyone to another seven win draft here on Mistakes News Make. Open up the book of Exalted Deeds. I don't know if this is good for limited. What do you think? I don't end up taking it here because I don't know why I would take here. Um, you could argue for the innkeeper and just force green. <laughs> Um, but yeah, there's a moment start. That's a pretty good pick. I did consider that. I did consider going the green deck because I've never gotten the innkeeper in my deck. I don't think I've yet to play him in my 40 cards. So I don't know why that is. I think people pick him pretty high, I guess. And I really want to play the game life deck with cleric and all that, but that's more of a card to take when you have those cards. So. Goblin Morning Star is not bad. Lightfoot Rogue is interesting. There's also a Green Dragon, which LSV hates. So I trusted his opinion on Green Dragon here. There's a Demon Fang Knoll here. He seems great. Um, took a red card. I could take it. It's also a Green Dragon, I know. <laughs> I want it. Everything in my brain is telling me, oh, 4-4 four, four flyer, go! But it's just not good. Six mana for a 4-4. Four, four. Six mana is a lot in this format. And the Lightfoot Rogue. Well, okay. Doesn't seem like that's where I want to go. You could take the Swarming Goblins. I agree. But I kind of wanted to try the uh, Fangul. I mean, that's basically what it is. I was like, well, I took a red card that's good in aggro I've never played this I want to go gruel <laughs> so I took it um, if you're not like trying to pour something then I could see taking the um, goblin card instead but I really wanted to try the demon thing out and I had yet to get to play him yet he looked fun and fun he is. There's the clutches. Hunter's Mark is good. I need some removal, and it's going to be tough when you're green. I didn't want to play Fireball yet or take it over Hunter's Mark because I, I've got it 15th pick before. So I was like, well, I feel like one of these will table or come back around. I believe I'm wrong, but if I get the Death Touch thing, it's good. Plus there's plus one, plus one. So... Hunter's Mark is fine, and I'm trying to cut off green a little bit. Ooh, here's no bueno. Um, yeah, this pack is just a miss for what we're doing. And this is just venturing, which... Limited is pretty underwhelming, to be honest. Um, if we're trying to go aggro, Unexpected Windfall is the pick here. So I would go that. It's not full miss, but... Yeah, I would, I would go Unexpected Windfall here. I end up rare drafting this, though, because I'm getting toward... I'm pretty sure we're coming closer to the end of the premiere release. I'm not really sure, but I've been reading a lot about how rares work in um, MTGA, so I just take the rare here so I can complete the set easier. Null Hunter here is a great pickup. I don't remember him being very good though. I totally forgot that I got one. I don't think I ever played him in this draft. But yeah, seeing a Null Hunter here is a really good sign. Um, you can take the removal here, but I that's five mana. I kind of want to lower my curve. Yeah, Compelled Duel isn't really what I want to play. Ranger's Longbow. I'd like one. But, eh, take the fireball. I think we can get another <laughs> Ranger's Longbow here. And the two damage might be relevant. It's removal. Yeah, I disagree here. I'm pretty sure I take Longbow here. But I think I should take the fireball. And look, I can... Well, actually it pays off because now that I have the Longbow... I can take the ranger. <laughs> yeah, Hobgoblin Kaplan. I know this late. It's pretty ridiculous. Very happy to slam that into my deck. And then the Jaded Cell Sword. 
Pack eight here. It's perfectly reasonable to take here. It's okay. It's. I thought it would be like amazing in the treasure deck, but it just really it didn't perform the way I wanted it to. So, but as a one or two of, that's great. And uh, a one three for two mana seems good, but I feel like we have way better cards to play on two rather than some thing like that. Hey, look at this. The card I was considering first picking or second picking. Uh, tabled and then another one or price of loyalty so I, I take swarming goblins here <sighs> you could argue for price of loyalty but that's just I don't know I guess it's fine if you're super aggro which I guess this deck is but yeah maybe should have took it over another I don't know if I'm going to play two Swarming Goblins, that's the thing. I probably will, but... Oof, Guide to Monsters is so good. Can we splash blue? I think we can. Oh, there's a Magic Missiles. Oh, this is tough. I remember this being tough. Yeah, I gotta go Magic Missiles. Man, this deck just doesn't... This is trying to win the game as quickly as possible. This is beat down. And you don't want to be like, if I were playing like green, green, white, I would splash blue, right? Easy. Even if I'm playing green, red, if I'm playing green, red, like venture or green, red, I don't know. I don't know any other thing here. Other than green red beat down. And magic missile is so good. People don't like it, but magic missiles is so good. Battlecry Goblin, not close. Get into my deck. Yes, there's a hobgoblin captain, but it's not coming back. Now that that rare that I passed is a bomb. So and I took removal over it. It's just I don't see myself splash, splashing blue here. And I don't want to make it harder to play my demon thing because I have to splash blue. I don't have many ways to get blue cards right now via treasure or anything. So I, if I took the blue, I'd have to take you happen upon a glade here. Instead, I can take a null hunter and I take that over harp, herd gorger and the basilisk. Basilisk is good. But again, that's more of the control and we're more of the beatdown, right? So, Null Hunter's super good here. I didn't realize I had two. Just don't remember them. Look at this. Pack four Battlecry Goblin. <laughs> I'm excited about that. Yes. Yes. So now I'm definitely playing both the Swarmy Goblins. For sure. That is a very late Grim Bounty. Yes, I agree. So Black Red is open. Pretty good. See another Fang Gnoll. How do you say that? I always want to say Golgnoll or something. I can't read, so. I'm happy to take it again. There is a Valor Singer, indeed. And I'm definitely taking Valor Singer over Hoarding Ogre, so. I'm not playing Find the Path. Those are the only cards that's in consideration. I guess you take a green dragon here and maybe you play it, but I know I cut it. I don't end up playing the green dragon. It's just paying six mana for a four four is not what you want to do. Well, okay. You can pay six mana for a four four flyer. That's it's not wrong. It's just it doesn't do enough to come into play. Ah, the ranger I just it didn't really perform well, so I wonder if that other card would have been better there. Boots of Speed is great. Uh, one game it was very critical, so very happy to pick that up. Uh, you take the the dork here and move on. Take the plummet into the sideboard. I don't main deck that. Not in this deck. The writer. Zombie ogre. Now playing great axe. Yeah. 
interesting. I just noticed the character, like the Nico Bolas is to the left of me and the other guys to the right. I don't recognize them. So it's interesting that it shows that. I'd never noticed that before. By the way, I need a Jace pet in my life. Yeah, my son's name is Jace. 100% after Jace, the mind sculptor. My sister-in-law's name is Nissa. My second son's name is going to be Gideon. Frogmoth! Frogmoth. Or, I, I don't know how to say this. Again, I can't read. But, wow, I don't remember playing him once. No, I played him twice. Never mind. I, I just didn't remember. But I'm really happy to be opening this. Super solid green card, and I'm green. Never happens that I open <laughs> awesome like this, so very happy. Uh, hoping to table the Basilisk or the Javelin. Javelin and Nier. Javelin and Nier. Javelin and Looking, uh, Roper? Roper? Not what I want to do. So this pack is pretty mediocre for me. I don't want to play that. What am I going to return? Mm. Consider taking the goblin here because of the two battle cry goblins, but and just playing super beat down. Yeah, I, I have no way of gaining life. This will just be a four or five wall. Not what I want to be doing. And then after I take this, pretty sure I gain a bunch of gain life stuff. I mean, you could take it to to curve out better, but no. I want another Battlecry Goblin, <laughs> yes. Three ba Battlecry Goblins. You wonder why I went 7-0. Right, I didn't go 7-0, but 7-2. I thought I was going to go 7-0 with this deck. I really did. The two losses I had, I think I misplayed and just got mana screwed. We'll see. Army Armory Veteran seems great. Bull Strength is good. And I debated between the two here. I was just like, uh, what's more important, a two drop or a trick? I went with a two drop and we do have two equipment so it could be relevant that he has menace um shepherds here or evolving wild I didn't really feel like I needed the evolving wild so I went with the shepherd Yeah, Shepard's definitely a pick here. Although you could you could take the Evolving Wilds. <laughs> I almost do. Yeah, Shepard. I, I just want more guys in my deck. Bulette is not a very good card. So hmm. I don't think I want to play him. Bard or Singer? Or improvise weaponry. Ah, uh, oof. One's removal, one singer. <laughs> Probably the singer here. It's close. And immediately rewarded. Imagine if I didn't take singer there, how mad I'd be that I took improvised weaponry. I mean, I'm going to take it. I, I play him at the very last game, which didn't matter, but... I don't know if it was right, because you'll see, but it was weird what I did. We're at 26 cards, so I gotta make some cuts. Yeah, Green Dragon, easy cut. Ah, uh, Goblin Javel Javelinier, easy cut. Um, probably the Shepherd, maybe. Hunter's Mark is fine. Maybe Ace Warming Goblins. It's five mana. Ranger could be cut. No no Hunters. Maybe the Longbow. Cost three mana to equip. That's a lot of mana. For this cheap deck. Yeah. Hmm. I could see playing 16 here, 
but eh, I have enough to do with mana. <laughs> yeah, cut green dragon. And then you're at 41. And then you can cut the herd gorger. Now, what you could do is play both of the Goblin Javelineers, right? And then cut um, Ranger, Green Dragon, Bird Gorger, and play Dueling Repier as well. And cutting a land going to 16. So you top out at 5. Now if you do that, you might need to cut a Swarming Goblin. Which means you're back down to 39 if I'm doing the math correctly. Which means you might need to play Spare Dagger at that point, which... Mm, too much equipment. Yeah. I really didn't like the Ranger in the stack. The 4-1, it... I want to be attacking with this deck, not blocking, and the 4 1 isn't very good at attacking. So, it does make 6 power and 3 toughness. So, would I pay a 5 mana? Would I play a 5 mana 6 3? I don't think so. I would say, eh, it just doesn't get in enough for 5 mana. So, I could see cutting it. Let's see, but you will play a 6 mana 7 6. It gains 3 life. Swarming Goblins I can't cut. I have three Battlecry Goblins. Three. Like, why didn't I get the <laughs> uh, Hobgoblin Captain in this pack? Or this deck? This would be the deck for that. So I do end up cutting that. So, putting it back in. <laughs> I guess it's just, I can't cut it. Can't cut any of that. Mm -mm, nope. You can cut the longbow. Three mana to equip is a lot. Putting that over here as the maybes. I don't want to cut boots of speed. I'm glad I didn't. Just felt like longbow was too expensive. So I end up cutting that. I remember. Where's Mark's fine. Jade Self Sword is fine. Magic Missile's good. Like all of our twos and threes we need. The only other debate I have here is you cut the herd gorger and then land and play goblin javelin here. Both of them. I still think the answer is no. Because what do you cut? A mountain? Forest? You need both. Yeah, you can't do it. And you have... Five, five drops. Well, if you cut the ranger, you could go down to four or five drops. And then... Then you're at 16 lands. Yeah, I still don't like it because you have the Battlecry Goblins to use your equipment for, or um, lands for. And you have the Fang Null, which you need four lands for. I don't like that. So... I, I'm happy enough with the deck. I really enjoyed it. I really enjoy Gruul too. So, end up going seven wins with this. Let's see how I do it.